welcome back to Building Gratitude with Maya D, and that's me. So, the intention of these videos is to is for me to experiment with the idea of being grateful and looking at how that helps me to live a healthier and happier life. And I'm looking for also this idea of a virtual community. I'm in another state right now, away from the physical bodies of my loved ones. And I think that having a community will help me to get through this space. It will build emotional health and wealth within me. Um, and ideally, as you comment, as you like, as you subscribe, we can build a larger virtual community and that we can all uh, be blessed from. So this idea of gratitude, I am today thinking about the idea of giving someone flowers while they're still alive. In my experience, and once again, my experience, yours might be different, we give flowers at the funeral and we allow time to pass without a, telling people what they really mean to us, me being very, very guilty of that. And I would like to change that. So one person that I'm very, very grateful for is Eleanor Albers. Eleanor lives on a farm in Alstead, East Alstead, New Hampshire. And I met her about 24 years ago when I traveled to her farm to work as a paraprofessional, as a teenager, as a paraprofessional on her, on her farm with, in a school that she has on her farm. Now, Eleanor, I would consider to be one of my moms, one of my mothers uh, that poured into me ideas. And one of those ideas was the ability to slow down time and build a rapport with students. Initially, when I met Eleanor, I was a para for her special needs population within her camp. And from that inkling, that little drop of time with her at the camp, um, I began to learn these techniques, these special education techniques that were in theory in my head because both of my biological parents have always worked in this with the special needs population creating programming and things and things like that but i just saw them typing writing and working with eleanor i saw how that those theories and those methods played out in real time so in the busy world of education i could see eleanor stopping taking time and building these relationships, this rapport building with the students that then allowed her to give the information in a natural and an organic kind of way because of this rapport. The student wanted to make her happy because they understood that she innately cared about their happiness. So Eleanor Albers, I love you. Thank you, my New Hampshire mama. I'm so grateful for all of the things that you poured into me. It is through that experience as a teenager that now I'm able to excel in my position as a professor at a university because you taught me how to build rapport, how to slow down time and build these intimate relationships with my students so that we can both go forward. What are you grateful for? Tell me how this video has helped you, made you think of something. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day.